Oh, we're gonna tell you seven movies that will definitely make you cry and obviously these are technically those movies that made us cry like hell like I I just I dehydrated I cried that much what the fuck you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking deep into that soul yeah so these seven movies that we're gonna list it made us cry like hell and we're very much convinced that when you will watch them they will make you cry too first movie is my this sister. actually deserves the number one spot. My sister's keeper. It's about a girl who has cancer and her sister's Ooh. story. Uh, her sister who is born for the sole reason to give her her organs or blood or bone marrow or whatever. The reason why this movie is on number one. The movie is the specific scenes that make you cry. Like I cried at the, that part, I cried at this part. From the beginning to end, we cried. My tears didn't stop. And I am the kind of person who does not cry. And that but has never movie... happened to me before. It has never happened to me before that I'm watching something and I'm crying so much and so badly. I don't even know why. It's not just because it's about cancer. There's so many movies that are about yeah. cancer. But Fall Dinner Stars is about entirely about cancer. <laughs> but but this it's is very realistic. Yeah. Very realistic. And the way the dialogues are written and, and it's actually and written acting, a novel by and it. the cinematography or whatever that how you are going to pronounce that yeah. and Cameron Diaz acting that is one movie which you should watch if you're looking for something highly emotional and emotional number two boy in the strip the chance so I cried when the movie ended and I cried because the movie ended the movie will leave you yeah there's something in you that wants the end that yes, wants to yeah. know what exactly I mean you know the you know end. what has happened, happened you but, know, but you want to see it you yeah. want to know for sure you don't, you don't want to hang on to the movie yeah, yeah I was like why are you ending it and I was so little and that was actually my first exposure to holocaust 14 year old me got scared of gas chambers <laughs> This movie will kill you if you watch it. Don't die. We need subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> if you're alive, subscribe. <laughs> Third movie is The Reader. It's Kate Winslet and that Voldemort guy, Ralph Fiennes. I really don't know what to say about that. I mean, it's one of my favorite. Like, if you ask me, tell me your top five favorite films. The Reader is a part of it. And uh, it's actually my most favorite romantic movie, which is kind of tragic. <laughs> Because it made me cry so much and it's actually a tragedy but when it comes to the most romantic film, I think I would say The Reader. It's one of an intellectual, one yeah. of those intellectual movies that you need to watch. And so the, uh, the, the story is about a love affair between a 16 year old boy and a 40 year old woman. It's just so beautiful blend of holocaust and the love of books and love and everything in the world that does not make sense. The reader is actually... Don't die before watching this movie. So Which watch it before this boy the strip pajamas. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Number four, oh. movie that you must watch. Shawshank Redemption. Oh my god, I love the movie. I love the movie. This movie is the love of my life. If you love me, watch the movie. So very You're few not people are going to watch the movie. I get it. I loved the scene when they were sitting on the roof and having beer and he says that it seems so happy I mean he just talks about happiness in a way which made me cry that sometimes that's all you want to be happy you know just to sit on a roof and see the sunset and maybe have a bottle of beer and that's how sometimes that's how you can define happiness right? I love that movie that movie it's so beautiful that movie is happiness and sadness at the same time that movie is like Ah, this is an emotional video we are making right now, right? No, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Shitter's List. Now, that is actually the most acclaimed movie ever. Ever. And no, we guys are not obsessed with Holocaust. It may seem like that, but no, we're not. Maybe a little, but let's just say no. Okay? Shitter's List is beautiful. It's... I watch that movie when I feel anxious, so I feel better. It's a dark movie. It's a very dark movie, so don't watch it if you have a light heart or if you get scared easily or if you cry too much. This is only for the strongest of hearts. So usually people cry at the scene when uh, Schindler leaves. I... No, I'm not gonna because that will give the movie away, but when I saw the dress. The, the, the red, red dress. The red dress. So the entire movie is black and white, but there is this just one little girl in red coat which is in color. So uh, the primary theme is Holocaust, of course, but of course. The, the story is, uh, it's based on real story, okay? That's one thing and uh, 
You watch it and you would know why we're putting it in this list because I know it will make you cry. It will make you cry. Yeah. It will. Now the sixth. Now this is personal. I don't know if it will make you cry or not, but it we're made me cry crying. like hell a lot, and we're it still does. Crying. So it is the Imtiaz Ali thing. Tamasha slash Hyde. So every time I watch them, I cry, and I've watched Tamasha for like 15 times now. They're just so special, and that's the reason I love Imtiaz Ali so much. Because he made two of my favorite movies ever and I love them and I cry every time I watch them. So yeah, that's that's pretty personal but I hope you cry too when you watch them. I don't know if that's a very nice thing to say but... My favorite movie, the movie I'm in love with, The Lion King. The movie made me cry guys. The movie is my favorite movie. I don't cry during animated movies. I, the only time I cry is during animated movies. That's dark. <laughs> yeah, but I don't cry on a human level. Okay, it's, okay. I it's fine. Cry it's on fine. An animated level. Yeah. So that was a list, and we hope that you watch these movies and you cry. I hope that does not make us bad people. If you can suggest those movies that you think they are very emotional and you know movies that will definitely make these tears. Oh, up, up is a movie that will make you cry. I. It, I didn't like that movie at all. I, don't I know. loved that movie. I shouldn't say that, I'll get haters, but never mind. So, yeah, let us know the movies that made you cry. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We make very cool videos about books okay. and everything. Blow your own trumpet. That, that came out sexual. But we really do. <laughs> we really do. Uh, you can check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, the stuff, how it works. And subscribe, because that would be really great. Yeah.